everyone. So, as you can see, a uh, Christmas tree in the background over here. Things are getting a little bit festive over here. Today I am going to be doing video number one out of a four part series of my Christmas gift guides. Each video will be aimed at a specific person in your family, I guess, specific category. So today I'm going to be doing Christmas gift ideas for her, whether it's your sister, your best friend, your mom, your granny, yourself. Um, you can even leave this video open somewhere or send the link to your husband or your boyfriend so that he knows what to get you. And then I'll be doing a his guide, um, a kiddies, a baby guide, and then budget friendly stocking filler type gift. So if you aren't a subscriber just yet, please subscribe down below so that you get a notification as and when each video comes out. I think to start this video, just to say that all of these things that I'll be featuring, I own already. So either they have been sent to me by the PR, or they are things that I have bought for myself, or they are things that I have actually gone out and bought as a gift for somebody in my family. So I'm trying to keep it as sort of realistic as possible, budget friendly as possible. There is one very, very big fancy gift in this here's gift guide. But I mean obviously that's for somebody like if it's a boyfriend watching for his girlfriend and he really wants to go all out. Anyway, chatting too much. So let me just get straight into it. For me, one thing, whenever people ask what they can give me for my birthday, for Christmas, or whatever. I tell my husband, just tell anybody, candles, scented candles. I am obsessed. So, when I heard about Theravine's Aroma Vine Lemon Zest Massage Candle, I knew that this was one that I had to get. So, it's absolutely beautiful. It's unlike any other ca uh, candle that I have already owned. And that, it comes in a really cute little tumbler that you can use afterwards and it's got this cute little wooden block that it sits on. It smells absolutely divine. So it is it's lemon lemon zest and it's very citrusy, very refreshing um, and of course you can use the wax as a massage oil. So I think that this would be an absolutely beautiful gift for somebody who is into candles. I don't know very many people who aren't so yeah, lovely little treats. Um, I am going to be leaving the prices and the stockists details, everything in the accompanying blog post, which I'll link below. So if you are interested in any one of these gifts and you'd like to know where to buy them, how much they're going to cost, I'm not going to bore you with all of that in this actual video. You can just click onto the blog post and everything will be there. These next two gift ideas, because they're from one brand, but they're two things that I think are really, really cute. This would be great for somebody who is a beauty lover, who is very into high-end beauty product, who is very fashion obsessed, um, into luxury, definitely beauty addicts. Um, and it is these two little goodies from Chanel. So I think that if you are on a limited budget, say 300 Rand or so, and you would like to get a close friend or your sister or your mom something really really special for Christmas I think that you can never go amiss if you buy them a Chanel lipstick or a Chanel nail polish because they really are so beautiful um, they are amazing both the nail colours and the lip colours are absolutely gorgeous to wear um, the nail colours come in the most spectacular colours and I feel that Chanel is always sort of ahead of the trends when their nail colours come out and a lot of the time their nail colours actually have waiting lists so you know they just fly off the shelves um, and one which I think is going to do really really well this Christmas is the Le Top Coat um, Lame Rouge Noir so it's the gold sparkle nail coat from the holiday collection, the Rouge Noir holiday collection so it looks quite dramatic um, in the actual packaging, but it's really not. I'm actually wearing it on my nails today. I don't know if you can see that. I'm wearing it over a sort of greyish colour from Essie and it just adds, I've got three coats of it on, so this is a little bit more dramatic, but it just adds like a really fine layer of gold. It's 
not even glitter, it is so fine, it's almost like, what is that, gold leaf, you know, like little gold leaf bits, it's really, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, nail colors are expensive for a nail polish, but a little bit more affordable, so if you want to get something like more affordable than, for example, a perfume. Um, so if you want to get something really, really special for somebody and they are in love with Chanel, I would highly recommend that. Chanel has just released these beautiful 35ml travel friendly number 5 perfumes, um, just in time for the holiday season. So these are great for traveling. Um, and because they're a little bit more affordable than the regular bottle um, of Chanel number 5, they're great for gifts, you know, it's like a little bit more affordable, so my granny absolutely loves Chanel No. 5, and I cannot afford to buy her the regular bottle, but this one is a little bit more doable, so yeah, it's very cute, it's stinky, travel friendly, looks beautiful on a dressing table, I actually just want to keep it and leave it out as a display. Moving on, this is something that I received the other day, and I kind of thought, well, it's a hairbrush, but it's really, actually, it is amazing. And I think this would be a great gift for um, somebody, like another, you know, friend or sister or whatever, who's very into beauty and into her hair. And even for like a little sister or a little cousin, um, sort of teen girls, because it really, it's just, it's so cute. So this is the Tangle Angel hairbrush. It's got specially designed teeth that just said sort of different sizes, I don't know if you can see there, there are different sizes, just to sort of help detangle your hair, I guess. It also, it doesn't leave your hair feeling static, looking static, which is great because usually plastic bristles do that to my hair, so I've really, really been enjoying it. It's just, it's an all-round great brush, and I think because it's so cute, I don't know many beauty addicted women who wouldn't love to get one of these for Christmas. This next gift idea is a goodie for those who are into home decor and even for your blogging friends because at the moment it's like rose gold and marble are just everywhere on everybody's blogs and I actually bought these for myself for my blog photographs and to house my makeup brushes and I just thought it would be such a lovely gift for other people so I wanted to include it in this roundup. Um, this is a... I actually don't know what it's supposed to be for. I found it in H&M in the sort of bathroom area so I'm guessing that it's supposed to be for your toothbrushes or whatever. I use it for my makeup brushes. I think it's really really cute. Um, you could use it for anything. You could use it to stand your mascaras, your eyeliners, makeup brushes, your pens and pencils on your desk, anything. So cute. It costs 79 Rand H&M um, and you also get these little matching trays. This is the sort of bigger one. You also get a smaller one that's about half this size. And it's just a cute little tray to store your trinkets. Put your rings on, your keys at the end of the day, even in your entrance hall. So, I mean, I think these two together on your dressing table, one with makeup brushes and one with your lipsticks or your jewelry or whatever, I just think it's so cute. It just makes your dressing table look beautiful. And I would absolutely adore receiving I would have loved, I mean I already have it, but I would have loved to receive something like this for Christmas as a gift. I have also got the candle over here, it's sort of matching the candle, which is also from H&M. Um, it's the scented candle, pine forest candle in a beautiful marble holder. So this also, once it's finished, you can use this to house your makeup brushes or whatever. It smells absolutely divine. Um, yeah, really affordable as well for a scented candle and it, it throws the scent, which is really, it's fantastic. Then, toiletries are always a hit with women. And these more large and York Apothecary Wild Rose and Sandalwood Hand Wash and the Apothecary White Orchid and Ginger Room Spray would not go in this, I don't think. Um, I am actually... I'm going to buy some of these for my granny and for my mom-in-law because I think they would really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to pop these into my guest loo because there's nothing better than a really fancy, luxurious hand wash um, in your guest loo for your guests when they come around, especially during the holiday season. 
and I am not a fan of regular toilet sprays. So something like this amazing white orchid and ginger root spray is fantastic for the bathroom and it smells absolutely divine. It's I don't even know how to describe it to you. It is floral obviously with the orchid. I don't really smell the ginger but it's just it's such a fresh clean scent. When it comes to gifts you can never go wrong with a good book. And this year I am going to be gifting a lot of my friends with um, Elizabeth Gilbert's Big Magic. Sorry, I've got a little something on there. Anyway, this is my copy, so it's okay that it's got a little spill on it. Anyway, um, Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. It is the best book that I have read in a really, really long time. Um, quite possibly my book of the year for 2015. And I just think that if you are somebody who is into creativity, who wants to live a more creative life, um, who sort of experiences a bit of fear around your skills and a little bit of disbelief um, in yourself and your own abilities, I think this book you just absolutely, you need to go out and get it. And I think it would make such a great gift for um, any readers in your life and any Elizabeth Gilbert fans, because I'm a massive Elizabeth Gilbert fan. And this book does not disappoint. If you've been following my blog over the past year or so, you would have seen that I am getting more and more into sort of natural and organic skincare. I'm particularly supporting local South African beauty brands. Um, and one of my most recent discoveries is Mali, which is a brand that's made here in South Africa and it's inspired by Africa. So some of um, the products that I have had the opportunity to taste and play around with that I think would make for great gifts are the repairing tissue oil which I think is a goodie for any expecting moms in your life, um, your grannies, moms, anybody really. Um, it's, it's so amazing, it's just, it, it's in a little spritz bottle and you just spritz them onto your skin, directly onto your skin and massage it in and it just leaves your skin feeling so well nourished and soft and supple and it also, I mean, I don't know if you can see there, but there is absolutely no greasy residue left on the surface of your skin. Um, it doesn't have a very, it doesn't have a scent at all really. Um, it's just, it's, you can just tell, it's just good natural oils. That's it. Another one of their products that I'm really enjoying is their anti-aging hand cream. This is such a nice one to buy for your mom or whoever and just sort of, you know, it comes, you can also get the hand wash. So I really like buying them together as a little gift set, the hand wash and the hand lotion. And it's just, it's such a great addition to somebody's kitchen or their bathroom just to sort of make sure that they're hydrating their hands while they're washing and, you know, um, also to keep beside your bed. It smells utterly divine and is such a lovely hand cream. It doesn't leave your, your hands feeling greasy. Another product that I absolutely adore that would make such a great gift is this refreshing mist. This one is um, a floral bouquet. It's got rose geranium and aloe vera extract in it. So this is just something that's quite nice to like spritz on your body for just a nice um, refreshing sort of cooling sensation and it also smells absolutely divine. So it's just a lovely refreshing body mist and I think it'll be such a goodie to pop into your beach bag or your travel bag if you're traveling on a, like a long flight or a road trip. I think it would be fantastic. In fact, we are heading off on a road trip pretty soon so this one is going to be in my carry-on luggage thing for a road trip if you know what I mean. By far my favorite product from Mali is their room mist. This product is amazing. I have this next to my bed I spritz it before I get into bed every single night and it just, whoops, I think I might have gotten some on the camera there. It just makes me feel so, it's just such a beautiful scent. It just, you feel so balanced and so wholesome and like, oh, it smells divine. It's, it's such a lovely scent. I don't even know what, it's fresh forest green. So it contains olive oil and tree moss extracts and it just, it is such a lovely, fresh scent. It's absolutely beautiful. It actually, even though it's supposed to be fresh forest scent, kind of reminds me a bit of the ocean for some reason. I kind of like picture a long, be a long like beach stroll and oh, it's just it's so divine. I think that if you know somebody who is into natural skincare, 
um, who loves sort of sense, you know, um, I have a friend who's very into yoga, I think this kind of thing for her would just like up there in terms of gift giving. So the next gift idea is for the foodie in your life. It is this beautiful 16 piece rose gold cutlery set from Eat Right and I just think it is so beautiful. Um, it's for the woman who has everything and you know the hostess with the mostess because I don't know very many people who have rose gold cutlery and I just think it looks so beautiful um, and I think if you are looking for pieces for your Christmas table this year if you're hosting Christmas and you're looking for something a little bit unusual this is definitely it's so beautiful rose gold is so on trend at the moment um, it just it makes every meal time feel so special and I just I love it so much. I just I think they are so gorgeous. So you know for moms, um, aunts, newlyweds, if you're going to a wedding this December, I can't think of a better gift. And then of course, what would Christmas be without flush? Doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you not get anybody things from Lush for Christmas? Why don't you get everybody things from Lush for Christmas? So, um, I recently popped into Lush, my mom has a birthday coming up, so even though it's not quite a Christmas gift, I thought I would show you what I'm getting her for her birthday, as well as a few little bits and bobs I got for myself. So, first and foremost, I got this beautiful shower gel for my mom. Um, it smells absolutely divine, it is so refreshing, it's like a really beautiful citrusy scent. Um, I actually haven't checked what's in here. Merga powder apricot infusion, that makes sense. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a really fine, sort of glittery um, yeah, suspension in the shower gel. So I spoke to the woman at Lush and I said, you know, is it going to leave that glitter on the skin? And she said, it really depends on how long you keep it on your skin for because it's the glitter is made out of seaweed, it dissolves. Um, so if you're having a bath and you've bathed with this and everything, like it's not likely to leave uh, glitter on you, it really shouldn't. Um, you might discover a little piece of particle here or there, but I think for the holiday season that's absolutely fine. I mean, that's what holiday is all about. So this is quite a beautiful gift, I think. Then I've got her, okay, this is not the right one. Let me find the one. Okay. I'm not going to open this one, unfortunately, but I will try and find an image and insert it here or here or somewhere. Um, but it is the Stardust Ballistic, so it's basically it's just a big white or like glittery silver star. It's about this big. Um, and it just, again, it's got the glitter in it. Um, it says here... Okay, it doesn't say anything except before launching a ballistic into the water and watch it fizz away. But basically it leaves a beautiful glittery sort of silvery swirl in your bath water and I just think it's so beautiful especially for Christmas Eve if you're going to like spoil yourself the night before Christmas or New Year. It's just it's beautiful. Okay, so those were the two little goodies I got from my arm. Then I'm going to show you what I got myself. So I got the little dashing Santa bath bomb. This one is actually going to go into Vinny's Christmas stocking because he is obsessed with Lush bath bombs. Um, so I'm going to try and open this very carefully to show you what it looks like. Um, it's very cute. It's just a little Father Christmas. Every year I get him this little one. He absolutely loves it. It's a bath fizz, so it just like dashes all over your bath water. Um, Smells well, quite sweet, very nice, pleasant scent. It's a tumor scented bath bomb. We'll put a spring in your step. Drop into the water and watch that to fly. It's very cute. I got myself the luxury lush pud, which I do get for myself every year. It's a really beautiful. I actually don't know. It is a Christmas one, I think. Yeah, it's got a little bit of there's the little honey on the top. So it's supposed to be like a little Christmas pudding. Um, I get this for myself every year for Christmas Eve, it's just like a little tradition every year. Pop it in the bath and have fun. Um, it smells quite nice and spicy. It's one of the more spicier ones. I'm not a huge fan of the spicy lush bath bombs. I prefer the sweet ones like Comforter and Marshmallow Mountain. Those are my favourites. Um, but this one, 
absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to use it. Now this next one is not part of the Christmas collection, I don't think. But whatever it is, I've never seen it at Lush before, so it must be new. And it might be part of the Oxford collection, um, Oxford Street collection. I really don't know, but it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. It's called the Experimenter. It's just got a whole bunch of bright colors. It's got little glitter, fine glitter particles. And um, yeah, it doesn't really say anything else about it on this little packet, but from what I can remember in the store, this is supposed to just be an explosion of color everywhere. And it smells divine. It's also, again, it's quite like a deep, spicy scent as opposed to the usual sweet scent that I go for and I can feel I'm in a sneeze. Hey! Probably got blush all over my face now. I am super excited to try this one out. I will let you know how it goes. So, my last gift idea for today is by far the show stopper. I received this the other day. Um, it was in the retail box, secret box 20. And I will be doing a post on the secret box, so keep an eye out for that on the blog if you're interested. But I just absolutely had to put it in my gift guide because as somebody who has worked in the beauty industry for about seven years now, I can be quite like, you know, I mean I'm sensitized to it, you know. The packages arrive and I'm like, oh cool, okay, you know. But there are a few things that really get me incredibly excited and this was one of them and it is the Cloud9 Original Styler. So inside the box, once you've opened it, you get this beautiful bag, which is just so pretty. It's a beautiful little travel bag. Um, you zip it open. It's got such cute detailing. Let me just look at that cute little tag. So you zip that open, and up comes the styler. And this styler, I mean, I have tried them all. I have tried Fabulous, I've tried GHD, I've tried... I can't even think of all of them right now, but I've tried almost every single styler that there is. And not since I first discovered my GHD have I been so impressed with the flat iron. This is just absolutely... It is so beautiful. It's slick. The plates are really, really smooth and even my hair doesn't get like stuck or pull out. It's also got the rounded edges, um, so you can sort of flick your hair in, you can curl your hair, create some nice waves. Um, it's got a little on switch over there and off switch, and then you can control your temperature over here, which I love because a lot of flat irons are just sort of like 220, and I hate that because I feel like I'm singeing with my hair. So I prefer to have a lower setting, but I think it really does depend on your hair type because I've got quite fine hair, even though I've got a lot of it, it takes to heat much quicker, so I don't need such a high heat setting. So I love the fact that I can actually control the heat over here. I'm telling you, if you are in need of a flat iron, or you know of somebody who is, and you would like to treat somebody like a girlfriend or your mom or somebody for Christmas, then you'd like to buy them a really, really amazing box. Log on to the retail box immediately, because the secret box 20 is going for 990 Rand, and you get the Cloud9 original styler. So if that is not a good deal, I don't know what it is because you're you're paying less than half of what it's actually worth. I, I mean, I can't actually believe that that's the deal. So yeah, just saying, this I know there are not many women I know that would not be super chuffed with this gift and who wouldn't love you forever if you bought this for them. So if this is something that you would be interested in getting for one of your friends, Definitely go have a look, go check it out. Okay, so that is all the gift ideas that I have for you for the woman in your life, be it your mom, your sister, your granny, whoever. Um, I hope that you have found some great ideas from this. Um, as I said right in the very beginning, all the prices and stockist details will be listed in the accompanying blog post which I have linked down below. So if there's something that takes your fancy and you want to know where to get it and how much to budget for, you can just go check that all out there. Also the gift guide for him, which is always the most difficult people in my life to buy for. I never know what I have four brothers, I have a husband and I have a dad and I'm 
course I understand, but I know what's by him, that's, that's fun. But I mean, I struggle so much to buy for guys. So if you're like me, I think you're really going to enjoy this video. Um, the majority of the things that I'm featuring in the video are actually the gifts that I have bought for the men in my life. So if you are one of the men in my life, please don't watch that video because then you're going to find out what you're going to get for Christmas. Um, but if you're looking for some really nice ideas, some, something a little bit different as opposed to the usual built-on pack, which I don't agree with anymore, and um, the usual socks and ties and colognes or whatever, if you're looking for something unique and something a little bit different, I've managed to find quite a few nice ideas. That will be coming up this next week. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet, then you might want to subscribe so that you can be updated as and when I load each new post, um, each new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, and let me know if there are any other specific videos that you would like to see from me. Great, thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.